everyone, welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life. This is Melanie and today I am bringing you a flip through of the pages that I created at the Victoria Marie Scrapbook Retreat um, in April and um, National Scrapbook Day is coming up so I will probably be working on this album some more so I thought I would show you what I've got done so far and then um, depending on how National Scrapbook Day goes. I may film some of those videos and do some process videos and share them that way. So that would be newer ones. So the album that I've decided I'm going to use for this trip is this Bon Voyage album from um, Paper Studios, which is a Hobby Lobby brand. I bought this on clearance. I think they were $5.97 and I bought two of them. Now, <laughs> it's already pretty much full. So I think I'm going to need a third album. The chances of me finding the exact same one are going to be very slim, but from this side it looks like just a plain white album, so I think that's what I'll look for. It's just a white album that I can insert in the middle. Um, I usually do like to have my albums coordinate for trips, but um, well that still coordinates. It's just not exactly the same. So anyways, I'm going to talk a little bit about my approach, how I scrapbook when I'm at a retreat, and show you what I did. So this album, in case you don't already know, is about my trip, um, or rather a cruise that I took leaving from uh, San Antonio, Chile, up through uh, the Panama Canal and then across to Miami. It was a 16-day cruise. I went with a friend and I took a ton of photos. <laughs> As you can see, I think I'm maybe like in day five or six. So yeah, I'm definitely going to need three albums. When I go to a retreat, I try, I don't really have page kits per se. What I try to do is I try to, and here I'll show you a page, pages that aren't done. So you get the idea. Is I will go on to Pinterest or the internet, find a sketchbook or a sketch, um, layout. I will print my photos, I'll stick them in the page protector, and in this case I actually did not print out the sketches. In previous, um, in a previous retreat I did. All I did was I just, here I put up a little piece of paper in here with the number, so this is um, day 21, so April 21st, and it's layout 45 and 46. This is a two page spread. And then when I found the sketch in Pinterest, and maybe I can show you that. Let me just pull it up here. So in Pinterest, I have a board called South America Album, and then I would just mark the, I don't know if you can see that. So this particular sketch I have for the 21st, and it's page 51. And I really liked how that worked. It um, saved me from having to print them and having to store them, etc. I'm gonna apologize for the lighting. Um, it is a very gloomy day outside, and um, unfortunately this is the best that I can do. I also need to apologize for my voice because I do still have a cold. Anyways, so sketch, when I finished with it, I would delete it off the board so that all I would have left are the sketches that um, I still need to use. So that's basically all I did for prep. I knew that I was going to be using the Pink Fresh Out and About line. I bought two two of the full line, so I had double of everything because I knew I was going to take a lot of photos. And then I supplemented it with other um, lines um, and other bits and pieces from my, from my stash, okay? So that's the approach. Let's do the flip through. So one of the things at the retreat we had to do was um, do, or what challenge, was to use colors outside of your wheelhouse. So these are not necessarily colors that I wouldn't use, but they are kind of um, distressed or muted. I don't tend to use a lot of, of that aged kind of look, so that was why I chose these papers. Now these papers were from um, a giveaway table. They weren't something that I brought with me. So I am doing an I Am book, and it's just little uh, bits and stories about who I am or who I think I am. And um, I took a picture of the four of us that were sitting in a group at the retreat and just wrote about me being a scrapbooker. And so this will go in my 6x8 um, I Am book. So that was that. 
I usually like to start off an album with a cover page, a title page. I do not have anything for that yet. I want to wait until I'm finished the entire album before I decide on that. In addition to the Out and About collection from Pink Fresh, I was using the um, Go See Explore, I think that was the name, from Echo Park. And that's what these two pages are here. It is a two-page spread. And let me see if I can zoom you in a little better. There we go. And hopefully there won't be too much glare. So everything on this page was from that collection with the exception of the little gold X's. These were from an Ellie Studio puffy sticker thing. I decided to use white as um, a background for many of my pages. I will use colored or pattern cardstock periodically, but um, that's kind of my focus. Okay. So my thought is for every port that we would stop at is that I would do a 12 by 12 uh, photo representing that port. Um, doesn't necessarily mean it will be of the port itself. It could be uh, a highlight photo from the day, um, but just something to kind of differentiate between the days. It does get a little trickier with the days at sea because um, there's not really a port, but I still want to um, denote that it's a different day. Uh, my thought on this is that I will do some sort of little embellishment and put the name of where we are at, and these pages will be fairly easy and quick to assemble, which is good. This particular page here um, is one of those ones where you get a piece of cardstock from a collection that does all the work for you. So all of this background um, stuff was already on. So the only thing I did was add this strip of paper on my photos. I added a couple of little um, embellishments and some sequins and a title and that is basically it. I did do my journaling inside one of the circles that was already pre-printed. Here is another two-page spread. Um, this is of us driving out to the port and um, I just used the pattern paper as embellishments. I did use a small die that I had in my collection to trim out this little bus and um, everything here is from the Out and About collection. This one here, I actually used some of my stencils. Go me, I'm so very proud of it. I have a lot of supplies that I mean to use and I don't always use them, so when I do, I am very happy to, happy to have done that. I added a little bit of Heidi Swap Color Shine, um, and the rest of these are just embellishments from the kit. I added a piece of glitter washi tape, and that's pretty much all out and about. This one here is from the Echo Park collection. This border is actually trimmed from the pattern cardstock. It's a sheet, a 12 by 12 sheet of all these Polaroid photos. Um, all the um, embellishments are from the ephemera kit, except for the hearts. These are from an Ellie Studio puffy sticker. This page here, very simple. Um, I've got managed to get five photos on this page. It's basically just white cardstock, a piece of pattern cardstock, and a few little embellishments and a little bit of journaling. This is our first port of call, um, Kokimbo. Again, just a basic 12 by 12 photo with a few little embellishments. This one here, the photos are very dark because this was taken first thing in the morning. Um, this is pretty much mostly out and about, but I did pull some stuff from a crepe paper collection. I think that might be from here and there. And um, some wood veneer I had in my stash. Um, this is of one of those um, wheels from, uh, from a ship. And then um, I have no idea where this piece of flare was, but it fit, so I used it. This one here is um, from our excursion. We did a bus tour. Um, so I have uh, four photos. This collection is also from Pink Fresh, but it's the Be Mine collection, I believe. But I find the colors, like if you look at the two of them beside each other, they look very, very similar. This piece of paper here, I don't remember where this is from. This is not from, from the Be Mine collection. These little um, 
coral button type things were from Webster page, Webster's pages. These two pages here, while not necessarily a two page spread, I did try to make sure that they coordinated. I used a little bit of uh, Heidi Swap Mink Texture Paste on here with these little circles. I don't know if you can see them. It's like a metallic, yeah, the glare. Oh, there you can see them. Um, this was from, I think, a crepe paper collection, Good Vibes, I want to say. Don't quote me on that one. I uh, used some enamel dots. The little llamas, too cute. Even though we didn't see any, they are um, indigenous to the area. And then this one here is about some petroglyphs that we saw. And the photos aren't great, but you, do, you can see a little bit of the carvings. Same trip, same excursion, only the focus was more on the vegetation. Uh, again, this is from the Pink Fresh Be Mine collection. It came with these uh, rose gold uh, stickers, alpha stickers, which are really, really pretty. And while I'm using mostly gold throughout this collection, I don't mind introducing that. Both of these are also using the Be Mine collection from Pink Fresh. Again, just continuing that theme. Um, the flowers along here are actually from one edge of a piece of cardstock. So the cardstock had a frame of flowers and I just cut out one of the edges to make this border. I used some Nouveau texture paste or what do they call it? Embellishment mousse. Um, through a stencil that was a Tim Holtz stencil um, to add a little bit of mixed media to this page. These next two I skipped over. I wasn't inspired by this sketch at the time, so I just moved on. This was our first day at sea again, just a 12 by 12 photo with a few embellishments. I did make use of the spa, and so that's what this story is about. Um, treating myself. Again, mostly the Be Mine collection. So this page here was actually a challenge page and it was to use scraps. And because I had just bought all the collection and I didn't bring a lot of scraps with me, I thought, well, how can I meet this challenge? And so the cover page of the collection has the squares um, of all the different uh, designs and so what I did was I trimmed them out and laid them down on a grid and then just drew a border around use the puffy stickers from the collection I popped some of these up on dots just to give it a little bit more interest and that was it I did not add any other embellishments on here it's just that one sheet of paper um, and the puffy stickers this was another challenge and this is a pretty much straight out copy of a Missy Widden layout using the same collection. Um, the only thing I did different was the mixed media in the background, but I tried to incorporate as many of her, um, what do you call it, many of her regular things that she does. So she always does mixed media. Um, she usually includes thread of some type, so you had some gold thread. Um, usually she uses tissue paper behind her photos. I didn't have any, but I did use some vellum just to frame that out. Um, yeah, I just changed the design a little bit more to fit my photo, but this up here is pretty much a straight out copy of her, her layout. It's so fun and I, I absolutely enjoy doing it. I have to admit that before I started adding everything on here, I was like, this is a hot mess. <laughs> what have I done? But, um, I really am happy with how it turned out. And all of this is from the out and about collection except for the alpha stickers are an a LA studio and these are the thickers next up was an Arica Chile again another picture with few embellishments this was the very first challenge we got a sketch layout from Victoria Marie um, I just flipped it around and um, had this 5x7 photo printed. Again, most of this is from the Out and About collection. The black border is from my stash. I don't know what kind of thickers these were. They were also in my stash. 
This one here is where I'm using some car pattern cardstock for the background, a sunburst. This was early in the morning, so I thought that was appropriate. It's a very simple page. I'm using um, pieces from the Echo Park collection to uh, finish that up. This one here, again, mostly out and about. I had um, this flare, this flare was from, I want to say here and there, crepe paper, crepe paper. The glitter stars were from the Alphabet Thickers. Here's a two page spread and I managed to get a lot of photos on here. Let me see how many to get. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 photos on two pages. So for those of you that like to uh, cram as many photos on as possible or can't narrow them down, this is a great way to um, incorporate them. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Most of this is from Pink Fresh Out and About with the exception of these black puffy stickers. I don't remember where those are from. This one here was an interesting sketch. It actually called for one of those designs that kind of has a swoop. Um, but I didn't have anything like that and I really just didn't want to bother to fuss with somebody's silhouette. So I just went with a triangular shape instead and I quite like the way that that turned out. Uh, this is mostly the Echo Park collection. Um, it had this uh, hot air balloon paper which I have to admit I have a hard time using literal things like I think I need to use hot air balloon pictures with a hot air balloon paper but I felt by changing it on its side that if you look at it you don't immediately register that it's hot air balloons and that it just looks more like a pattern and I just use such a small part of it I think it's okay I continue that over onto this page so again it's not necessarily a two-page spread but they are um, coordinated and mostly the Echo Park collection again This page here, super, super simple. It literally is um, one of the 12 by 12 cardstock pages from the Out and About collection. I just added photos, added a title, did a little bit of journaling on the, the lines that were in here, and then the icons that they had pre-printed, I just picked a few of the puffy stickers here and there and just um, replaced them for a little bit of added interest, and that is all that I did on that page. This one here, I used some tissue paper from our gift bag and I also used um, an Explore from Freckled Fawn and these little hearts were just that ones that I had pre-punched out and had thrown in, in thinking they went with the collection. And again, not an exact match to the collection but I think there's enough of this peachy um, color throughout that it it doesn't scream like this doesn't go. Um, so I'm really happy with how that turned out. This one here, I couldn't believe how well this picture went with this collection. I mean, it literally um, coordinates perfectly with it. And it was not even planned because I didn't know what I was going to be seeing when I decided to use it. Again, this is mostly the um, Out and About collection. I think this cardstock here might be from my stash. And then I just added some of these um, clear pearl rhinestone things, I don't know what you want to call them, um, on and that is pretty much it. On Saturday night we had a iron scrapper challenge, I guess that's what it was called, where we had three challenges that were timed. Now we did get some prep time beforehand so that we could pull um, the items off the list, but for each challenge we had a prescribed list of things that we had to include as well as um, a limited amount of time. So this was one of the layouts that we um, had to complete. I believe we had 10 minutes for this one to complete. So I had always planned to do this as an eight and a half by 11 and I was being a little strategic and thought it would be easier to do an eight and a half by 11. Um, in 10 minutes than 12 by 12. 
So some of the things that we had to do was include stamping. We had to include four different pattern papers, some sort of dimensional chipboard kind of thing, um, a title, and a second like acrylic or wood veneer or something along that lines, and, and a piece of ephemera. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Uh, this is, I believe, from the crepe paper collection here and there. Oh, and we had to include a border. And this border was from the free, free table. <laughs> then the other um, challenge we had was a 15 minute challenge. Again, um, prescribed stuff. Some of it was we had to use some sort of mixed media on it. We had to use some sort of acrylic or wood veneer, some chipboard, um, a title with a subtitle, and probably puffy stickers. I don't know, the list was quite long. Oh, and three pattern papers. So again, I decided to do eight and a half by 11. And these two card stocks here are both from my stash, as is this one. This might be from the Good Vibes collection. The trickiest part for me was using this gold um, embossing paste. In 15 minutes, there's no way that that would have dried. And so the question is, how do I make it work? So what I ended up doing was laying everything down and then covering this up and very carefully filling in with the stencil, the gold um, embossing paste, and then just letting it dry. Very happy with how that turned out. This was another day at sea. The photo is a little grainy, but because I'm adding other things on top, I'm, I'm okay with how it turned out. This is our next day in port. This is in uh, Peru now. And I just loved all the patterns um, and mosaics that we saw at this one house that we visited. So I thought that would make a really great 12 by 12 photo and then just added a smaller photo on top of the port. This was our third challenge. So we had 30 minutes to do this one. And um, I have to admit, uh, it probably took me 10, 10, 15 minutes because of we had the prep time in front. Um, yeah, it went together really, really quickly. And this is all the Echo Park collection. I did have some more of that nautical wood veneer throughout the, I'm using that throughout the, al throughout the album. And this was from an American Crafts thicker, travel thickers set of words. I really liked how the grid worked on that other page where, where I used the scraps. And so for this one, I had a ton of photos just taken from the bus as we were driving through um, through Lima. And so I thought it would be fun to do another grid layout. This time I just incorporated a few little bits of um, cardstock and ephemera behind some of the photos. And then I randomly drew um, some doodly lines around them. And I was a little bit hesitant to do it at first because I didn't know if it was going to turn out. And I really love the way that that looks. I'm quite happy with that. Continuing on with my mixed media theme, I went to town on the background here. I added some stencil with some white texture paste. I used some gold Heidi swap and just some ink using the packaging technique. Using the Heidi swap color shine in gold as well as the yellow. And again, it was like, oh, this is looking like a hot mess, but really I filled up most of it with photos and paper and stuff, and, and I really like how that turned out. Again, mostly the Out and About collection. And I have a few more pages here that did not get done. I talked already about my thought process for those. And I also will have some certificates that the cruise line gave that I'll intermix. And really, that's as far as I've gotten. So I hope you enjoyed my little flip through. If you have any questions on any of the layouts, I will try and take photos of these um, over the next little while and upload them to my Instagram account, which is A Creatively Crafted Life. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, happy crafting.